Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at how to calculate your federal taxes. And what we're going to do is assume that your taxable income is $5,000. So if that's the case, if your taxable income is $5,000, what would you pay in federal taxes? Well, if we look at this table, what you want to start to do is look at this column. You need to find where your taxable income falls in this column. In our case, it's $5,000, which is more than zero, but not more than any of the other numbers here. So that tells me my taxable income is going to fall on the first row. It's going to fall in the 10% row. That's this row right here, right? So, okay, we got that. And the way the tax works is that it gives you different tax rates for different parts of your taxable income. In our case, that means our marginal rate, these are called marginal rates for different margins of your tax, is 10%. We're going to pay 10% on our taxable income. So in this case, that means our federal income tax, and we'll look at a bunch of examples, uh, I'll call it FIT, federal income tax, will be 10% of 5,000, which is 500. So notice, in our case, we only had to use two columns. We didn't need to use really anything else here, just the more than and the marginal rate. That's a taxable income of $5,000. It's just 10% of the income. And the same is true for every number up until, this is where this starts to come into play, 9,950. So as another example, if your taxable income is, um, 9,950 exactly, then you'd pay 10% of that. Now to find 10%, you just multiply by 0.1 and you get 995. So that would be your federal income tax. So that's how we get started. But what if you make more than 9,950? What if you make 10,000? What's going to happen now? And this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. And um, the nice thing is here, there are some constants that we'll get to. So some things you can work out and then be done with it. But right now, let's say you're paying, you, you have $10,000 in taxable income. That's gonna bring you past the first row. You're gonna go into the second row. It's more than 9,950. And you see this marginal rate right here of 12%. That 12% only applies to the amount of money you have over 9,950. It only applies to the money you have over that amount. So what will your tax be? Let's go back over here. So for $10,000, first you've got to figure out, well, how much do we have past 9,950? How do we do that? We subtract. So we subtract. 9,950 from 10,000. And what does that equal? Well, it equals $50. Okay, so that means for this person, all of the money over 9,950, which is $50, that will be taxed at 12%. But the first part of their taxable income, the first margin, will still be taxed at 10%. So for this person making $10,000, so I'll write this over here. If you make $10,000, what will your taxable income be? Well, it'll be $50 times 12% plus all the money below in the first bracket. Now that's finally where the last column comes into play, the range. The first bracket is always going to have 9,950 if you fill it up, right? So if you have more, that's just that if you have more than the first range, you're always going to have at least $9,950 in the first bracket, always. And that means you're always going to have 10% of that number. So you could do the calculation. You could say this person will pay 9,950 
times 10%, but that's always going to be 950. So, so for all the examples going forward, everyone's going to pay 10% in the first bracket. So it's always going to be $995, and that's our first constant. So I'm going to make a little note up here so that I remember, all right, well, that means for anyone paying beyond the first bracket, the total amount of taxes you could pay in the first bracket is going to be 995. So let's figure out what this person's going to pay. And that's calculator time. So go to my main calculator window. Okay, so $50 times 0.12 plus 9950 times 0 0.1, boom. They're gonna pay $1,001. So $1,001, $1,001. So you can see that this person, they, they pay a higher tax rate, but a big point here is that they're only paying a, a higher tax rate on a smaller, a really small part of their income. That 12% right here does not apply to their full income. It just applies to the amount of their taxable income that falls within this range right here. So let's do one more. And let me clear up this mess. So we had an income of 5,000, right? We had an income of 10,000 and Oh, the income of 9950 Let's do a larger taxable income. Okay, and I keep saying income and taxable income. We'll differentiate between those two. So taxable income is what I'm talking about in this video. So let's say you have a <clears throat> you have fifty thousand dollars of taxable income. So your taxable income is fifty thousand dollars what would you pay in federal income tax? Well, let's go to our table. We're now in the third row. It's more than 40,525. Okay, and if I go to the previous row here, I notice that that's from 9,950 up to 40,525, and here's the range. That's all the money that's in that range, $30,000 that can be taxed at 12%. So that's gonna give us another constant. The first row gives us a constant of 995, 10% of that range. And <clears throat> I'll go right down, that's 10% of 9950. This row is gonna give us 12%, 0.12 times 3575, and that's 3669. Okay, so. Three, six, six, nine. And that's based again on 12% of the $30,000 range. And okay, so, so what does that mean? Or how does it help us here? For this person, they have $50,000 of taxable income and they do reach the third marginal bracket. They reach the 22% bracket but they're only gonna pay 22% on, on the taxable income that's in that range. In other words, the amount over the 40,525. And, and that's true for all the money they make up to $86,000, $375 of taxable income, but that doesn't apply to us here because we only have 50,000. So our 50,000, you wanna find out how much is gonna be taxed at 22%. So to do that, you do 50,000, and you subtract, you subtract 4525, right? You subtract that away. That's gonna tell you how much money you're paying in that bracket. Whatever that is, you take 22% of it. That's your marginal tax rate. And now you could recalculate, okay? 12% of all the money in this bracket, 12, 10% of all the money in this marginal bracket over here. But we have these constants worked out. That's why they're gonna help us, right? These numbers over here tell me that this person, they have, uh, they essentially have filled up those marginal brackets down there, and they're going to pay three six six nine and nine nine five for the other two brackets, and this will be their tax total taxes paid. So first, fifty thousand minus forty five two five, boom, times point two two, boom plus 3669 plus 
995, boom, that's their taxes. They're going to pay 6748.5. And this is taxes paid. Okay. So in, in this activity, what you should really do is you should go through and find out all of the constants that you'll pay within each bracket, except for the last one, because the last one, notice that 37% doesn't have an upper limit. So that's just for all the income over 523,600. So that's something you should do that'll help you. And also, we'll try an example uh, what you would pay if you made more money. All right, hope this helped.